Hey guys, Kairos here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Henshin Belt Deluxe Evolved Driver from Kamen Rider Build. This is the belt used by the villainous Kamen Rider Evolved to transform. This set includes the Evolved Driver itself, a set of belt straps, and two Evolved bottles. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the two included Evolved bottles, which are what Kamen Rider Evolved uses in his belt to transform, and are what I could best describe as mechanical full bottles. Starting from the left, we have the Cobra Evolve bottle. So, this one is done in a maroon color. You can see the design for the Evolve bottle. It is quite a bit different from a full bottle, seeing as it's completely solid, with no clear pieces on the outside or inside. You can see it's kind of divided into two halves with the bottle. The upper one that has a symbol on it, and then the lower one which has a basically a mechanical part that has the actual gimmick of the ball in it. From the top we have the cap which is of course done in the same shape as all the other caps. But this time it has a full symbol on it which picks a plant with a gear around it as well as a ring and this is probably not intended to be Saturn since common intervals pattern powers rather come from Mars. On the ball itself, you can see the symbol here, which is actually Blood Stark symbol. And that's because Kamen Rider Evol is the writer form of Stark. Then on the bottom, we actually have a Cobra head. And as you might have seen from me doing it earlier, this is spring load, and that's part of the mechanics to where the Evol driver will activate via the pin on the top. It still has a QR code for Gamba Rising, as well as the pins on the back for putting into the belt. For comparison, here's what an Evolve ball looks like next to a full ball. As you can see, they really don't have too much in common outside of the cap and the rails on the back. The second one is the Rider Evolve ball. So this one is done in gunmetal gray. You have the same exact cap. The symbol here is the Rider System symbol from Build for all the Riders. And then the mechanical part here is a piston that's done up in a grey color. You still have the QR code and the cap. And while these don't really make a sound if you shake them, or at least a very light one just because of jostling around the mechanism, you can make them have a shaking gimmick similar to the full balls if you hold in the part down here and then give it a shake. That allows the part inside to come free and then it'll actually make a noise when you shake it. Next we'll look at the Evolve driver itself. So as you can clearly tell by the way it's designed, this is a recolor and retooling of the build driver. The starting off, the main body has been changed from black to this maroon color, though in this case it's just kind of a flat color as opposed to the metallic color used for the Cobra Evolve ball. Got a lot of nice metallic gold and metallic blue accents. You can see that for the part that was once a gear, inside you now have this kind of star map. And well, you'll have the same two gears down here, and a little bit of the piping you now have these parts coming up that kind of look like an astrolabe or some kind of other astronomical tool. The handle has mostly remained unchanged except for the actual part that you grip onto. In this case it's become larger and now has Kamen Rider Revolve symbol molded onto it. The interesting thing about this is that it actually weighs it down more than the handle for the build driver. So if you try to put it on a flat surface with nothing kind of giving it a counterbalance, it'll actually weigh over to this side. On the back you have the same backing as the belt driver. You have the slots for the belt straps, power switch here, and the battery compartment here, and it takes three AAA batteries. And on the top you have the speaker, and you, as you can see there's a slot identical to the one on the build driver for the hazard trigger. You can see that there is a little switch in there, meaning that there will be something to attach into that into that section. Though that's something that we'll have to wait for when that toy actually comes out. 
As for the belt straps, continuing in the pattern of the Splash Driver, these are identical to the ones that came with the belt driver in terms of the molding, but this time they've changed to gold and maroon. And these clip into the sides of the belt, same as always. Like that, and like this. And of course, they can be adjusted along the notches. So you can have something like that. But of course, for the sake of convenience, I'll be removing them and setting them aside for the remainder of the review. Next, we'll get to the electronics of the Evolve driver, starting by using the two included Evolve bottles. First, we'll switch it on, where you'll get a name announcement. And then the way this works is the same as with the build driver. Got to twist the caps, put them in the driver, and turn the crank. This creates Conrad Revol Cobra form. We can get a good look at here on the box. We can get a good waist up shot with this, this side panel here. You can see he has a general crimson, gold, and blue color scheme. And for his head, you can see he has a very distinct Cobra motif. Similar, but not quite the same as that of Blood Stark. He also is very astro astronomically themed, having a lot of different addresses astronomical tools all over his body, as well as having a star map in his forehead. And just as to give you another indication that this is Blood Stark's rider form, he's seen here holding the trans steam gun rifle mode. And as you can see, when I did the process, turning the crank caused these two to alternate, similar to the moving insides of the full bottles. I'll give you guys a close-up for the finishing attack. And that activates the Voltec finish. Now I'm going to do this one more time so you can get a good sound or a good listen to the kind of build up sound or the build up noise. And you might notice, or it might seem familiar to, and that's because the uh, actual sound seems similar to the classical piece Ode to Joy. And if it, that was intentional, it's actually kind of funny because an episode, a few episodes before the debut of Common Revol, actually had a choir and chorus, or orchestra, performing Ode to Joy in the cold open of that episode. And it's interesting to see a kind of writer standby noise that's similar to an actual piece of music. Now, like this, we can remove the Cobra full bottle and substitute in another full bottle, like Gatling, and get a different type of special attack. This activates a creation finish. 
And you'll notice that when I put in the Gatling football, it didn't read it as Gatling. It actually read it as Kikanho, which is essentially the Japanese word for a Gatling gun. And that's one of the interesting things that the Evolve driver does. To distinguish itself from the build driver, for a lot of full balls that have a word that has either a Japanese or English counterpart, it'll actually switch the language of it. So, for example, if we use the corresponding Taka full ball, it'll read it as the Hawk full ball. Next, because the Evol driver recognizes full balls, it can also recognize best matches. So let's test a couple. Starting off with the original Rabbit Tank. And you can see that instead of saying best match, it recognizes them as an evol match. And it doesn't have the full announcement of the build driver, but still it actually announces the form name. Then you can use the second best match, Gorilla Mond. And again, we get another case of language switching with the Diamond Full Ball, which now becomes Hoseki, or Gemstone. Also, while a Volt Rider system doesn't necessarily have trial forms in it, the Volt Driver does have a corresponding sound, or a counterpart sound. and also uses a different attack. Which naturally is the Evoltec attack. Likewise, the Evolve Balls are compatible with other devices that use full balls, like the Build Driver or Trans Steam Gun. So for the Build Driver, Cobra is naturally read as Cobra, while the Rider Full Ball is read as Common Rider. Though the end result is just the generic trial form sound. As for the trans steam gun, the Cobra full ball will of course be red, or Cobra full ball will be red like the Cobra full ball.
while the rider evil ball is read with the generic full ball sound. And finally, like with the other items I showed last week, the Evolved Driver also has a test mode, and it's activated the same way as the one for the Build Driver, which is just to take something and use it to press the switch here in this slot twice while it's being activated. So just like this. And there's a the sound confirming it. So we can do the same kind of testing as we did for the build driver. So we got rabbit, tank, and comet, or turtle. And for the other side, we get taco, or octopus, camera, and helicopter. For the crank, we get kikanho, or gatling. And for the button up here, we get Panda. And there we go. Overall, I'd say that the Evolve Driver is definitely a great retooling of the Build Driver, though I wouldn't call it something that is equal to it or something that could serve as a replacement. It definitely does do a good job at differentiating itself with the changes to design as well as the Evolve Balls being quite a bit different than the Full Balls in how they have a gimmick that's on the outside rather than the inside and don't really use any kind of clear parts. That being said, as far as the electronics go, while I can say that this belt has more than one unique form that's used with the uh, Rider full Evolve bottle, I can definitely say that it doesn't have nearly as many as the belt driver, and while, as I'll show in some future videos, it does read all of the best matches from the belt driver, it doesn't make nearly as interesting sounds as you could you know, tell that it did them in a more generic manner. And while it has the creation attacks, it's basically the same attack for all of them, except for just reading the name of the different bottle. Though that being said, this will have a little bit more playability in the future, when the attachment for it does come out. But even with that, it's still not quite going to be as good as the build driver on the whole. So if you're a fan of Conan Evolve, definitely pick it up, but if you're going to go for a belt that reads full balls, I would still go for the build driver first over this one. Next time I'll be reviewing the Rabbit Evolve Ball and Dragon Evolve Ball set Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.